ZeroToVJ.com, and this is uh, day five of Zero to VJ Live, where you can watch me make generative uh, VJ loops using just Resolume. Um, as always, uh, just starting from scratch, uh, not, not an expert, I'm just uh, showing you the process as I go about making these loops. Um, nothing's pre-planned, don't know what I'm going to make, um, and you just get to watch kind of step by step how I uh, do this in Resolume. Um, if you're completely new to Resolume, uh, you can download a demo for free. Everything that I'm doing is being done uh, only in Resolume, no extra effects, nothing else to download. Um, everything that I'm doing, you could download the demo and uh, and follow along. So uh, feel free to check it out. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the stream. I'm gonna change my window here. And I'm also gonna up the size of the Resolume. And all right, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I've got my uh, composition open here, and uh, as always, going to start going by going to the sources and going to lines. Um, add it to the clip window here. You just drag and drop from here. If again, if you're fairly new to, to Resolume, if you're running the demo, uh, you're going to see the Resolume watermark up here in the output, but that's fine. You can still yeah, still keep using it. Um, untimed, so it's kind of sweet. Uh, you don't have to worry about running out of time or the program quitting on you. Um, and as always, just going to start with my uh, effects here and see what we can come up with. Something I've been wanting to try is uh, seeing if there's a way to kind of make a hexagon. Um, inside of Resolume and again with my based on my experience so far uh, using something like the kaleidoscope might be the right um, effect to, to pull this off and so I like yeah I like the way that looks and I can Again, adjust the line position to, to get that effect, that movement. Um, I'm going to take the line width down a bit and see how this looks with uh, the number of lines here. And if I play with rotation here, getting a, yeah, an interesting look. Now I don't, yeah, I want to keep it, keep it as a hexagon. So I'm going to keep this uh, rotation down. I'm going to animate the line position, but I'm going to bring the zoom, zoom out. Um, so I've got a, I've got a hexagon here and I could just kind of have this tunnel effect, but uh, it's kind of, kind of simple. Um, see if we can make it look a little more interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try using the uh, noisy effect. And I'm just gonna bring this, bring that down. Uh, the noisy effect is a is a great effect for trying to um, um, 
so when it's kind of fully cranked up um, and if the resolution is really high you obviously get uh, I'm gonna turn it back down a bit if the resolution is really high then you basically get a straight straight noise <laughs> um, but if you take this down then it can kind of break up your break up your shape a little bit um, and make it so that it's not so um, yeah kind of boring as it as it was I'm gonna turn the resolution up I'm gonna try animating the line position here again I'm gonna bring the speed down So I kind of like the way that this, yeah, the way that this looks here with these uh, different lines. If I turn up the resolution on the uh, noisy effect, I get a bit more, um, kind of a, uh, you know, distortion and the effects kind of breaking up here. So the next thing I'm gonna try is again gonna try and add some maybe some character to this. I don't really like the way that the go effect looks. I'll try a distortion effect. And it might be a little hard to hard to see here, but this is actually adding um, this distortion effect uh, is kind of adding some like white uh, white little like dots almost. Um, again, just adding to some uh, adding to some of that uh, randomization. And this radius property in the distortion would be a good one to good one to animate. Um, so I'm going to go to the timeline here. Again, little little too crazy. So just going to bring down the speed value. <clears throat> the way that this is looking right now. I bring down the line width. Actually even increase it. Increasing it looks looks kind of cool.
in case you missed it, the uh, the effect that I add, added was the uh, shift RGB, and uh, I placed it in between. Uh, so far, I've got four effects in here. I've got a distortion, uh, shift RGB, uh, noisy, and the uh, kaleidoscope uh, in that order, and that's what's made this effect here. And the shift RGB, it doesn't take much to get uh, some color out of this effect. So if you just adjust the uh, any of these colors by one or two, um, yeah, one or two points from the 0.5, you'll get some, uh, yeah, you'll get an interesting effect with uh, with some color. So I'm going to stop it here for now, just to keep it uh, keep it kind of short. Um, but again, pretty pretty easy to see what you can kind of make um, using just Resolume's uh, built-in effects. So that's it for uh, for day five. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the uh, comments on the uh, post, or you can also reach out at uh, zero to bj.com. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.